This exam question is made up of two parts. The first part is looking at direct proportion and the second is looking at inverse proportion. Taking the first question, we are told that the time it takes to, uh, for a water heater to boil some water is directly proportional to the mass. So we're going to write exactly that. So T, which is the time, is directly proportional to M, the mass. Now to write this as an equation, we write that T equals K, which is the constant, multiplied by the mass. We're then told that when M is 250, T is 600. So we're going to substitute those values into the equation that we just wrote. So T is 600, which equals K, times by M, which is 250. And then we're going to work out our value for K. So if we divide both sides by 250, we get K as 2.4. So if our constant is 2.4, we're going to substitute that back into here to get our new equation, which will be t is equal to 2.4, which is our constant, multiplied by m. Now using that, we now need to find t when m is 400. So t equals 2.4 multiplied by m, which is 400, And 2.4 times by 400 is 960. So T equals 960. So that's part A of our question done. On part B of our question, we are told that the time it takes for water to boil a constant mass of water is inversely proportional to the power. So we write that T is inversely proportional to the power and that's shown by putting 1 divided by p for the power. So t is equal to our constant over p. Now we need to find out what our value for k is and to do that we know that when p is 1400 t is 360. So we're going to substitute those values in so we've got 360 equals k, our constant, divided by p, which is 1,400. So we're told that k, if we multiply both sides by 1,400, is 504,000. Now, because the constant doesn't change, and t and p do, we're going to write our new formula, which is that t is equal to 504,000 divided by p. So that's our formula that we're going to use for the time and the power. Now to find the value of t when p is 900, we're going to use this formula. So T is equal to 504,000 divided by P, which is 900. So therefore, if we work that out, we get T is 560. So T is therefore 560.